And we are back with BRX Pro Tips. Stone Peyton Lee Cantor here with you. Lee, we've really enjoyed some marvelous intern relationships. We've learned a thing or two along the way. What counsel, if any, do we have to offer in terms of how to choose the right intern? Yeah, this is uh, important for all the studio partners out there or anybody um, kind of in business that is doing this kind of work. Uh, our, one of the, this is also one of the side benefits of doing work with the university's entrepreneurship and incubators, right? You get kind of an insider view of who, oh, the, yeah. who the good <laughs> interns are. So <laughs> that's another reason to do work with the local universities in your market. But number one, um, this is a pro tip when it comes to interns. You're better off looking for an inter- intern that's a sophomore or junior, not a senior. The senior is looking for an opportunity to be hired right after this where the sophomore and the junior is still in the learning stage and is just looking for any opportunity to get their foot in the door. And you're going to get to keep them for a year or two, whereas that senior is looking to be with you, get inf- get um, knowledge, and then get a, get a real job. So if you're not prepared to hire them, I would highly recommend getting a sophomore or a junior um, for that for the intern work. And then I would look in the areas of the, you know, social media department, the PR department. You want good writers. You want good people with good people skills. And always hire for attitude. You want the person that is a a go-getter that, uh, you know, can get things done. You can train for the specific skills. They don't have to have any production skills. They don't have to have any skills other than a good attitude and, and wanting and liking this and coming to work every day fired up. I mean, you can't train that. That's too hard to train. And um, you have to, the value you're going to provide them, and this is something that has to be important for them or it's going to be a a tricky fit, is that they have to appreciate that you're going to help them build their network and really get FaceTime with a lot of executives of people that can really benefit them down the road. So if they don't have that kind of attitude, if they think they're just going to come in there and either make a lot of money or they don't care about building a network, that's not going to be a good fit. Um, and you can really help them because you can put them in the position to to be, um, you know, look good and be good by we have our interns do uh, a lot of times interviews from, um, you know, events. Yeah, when we high go profile on-site, events, yeah, we introduce them to the leaders of different networks. This has led to a lot of speaking opportunities for interns. It has led to job opportunities and uh, helping a win for us is if the intern leaves and has a job in the uh, field that they desire. I mean, that's a win for us, and that's happened multiple times. I think it's happened every single time, actually. I think you're being modest. But I do think one of the keys to remember, don't feel like you're you're confined to the School of Journalism or the School of Marketing and Communications. There are some great kids out there that really are hungry, that are coachable, and they can bring a lot to the table, and there's a lot that, that you can do for them. Right. If they like to learn about business and really want to learn from the horse's mouth from all the people that we interview, we are a wonderful fit for these young people. 